there, there's a there, there's a protocol for that for the health people actually, and uh, also the immigration and health, and they have this uh, instrument where they can sort out whether you are suffering from a fever or something like that. Uh, we are preparing in all ports of entry. Uh, we have deployed uh, almost all yung regional uh, at national support of entries yung magpasok galing abroad. Uh, our uh, preparation is the same. There is no non-vaccine. Uh, this is a mysteri mysterious uh, disease and we are just preparing maybe for the worst uh, oh, oh, we we can marshal what we have but what we do not know uh, we are at a loss really of what to do just like other nations now not yet at this time as a matter of fact there is no known transmission from human to human regarding china could be uh, if there is uh, the slightest uh, possibility that uh, a contamination could uh, occur in the Philippines, then we'll have to take measures. Uh, mahirap yung ano, uh, sabihin mo you suspend uh, everything because uh, they are not also suspending theirs. And they continue to respect uh, the 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 freedom flies that we enjoy in their country. Sir, last from me. You mentioned, sir, yung uh, situation sa ports, yung pag-manage po ng entry sa mga ports. Can you, um, what are your directives to, you know, frontliners guarding ports? Frontliners are the one, immigration. Second is the health officer. And third will be the customs of things that can be found uh, to be contaminated. I said at this time there is no known uh, protocol by which you can follow to combat the uh, disease, call it mysterious as of now, but what it can do is to limit the people entering maybe the Philippines. It could include uh, China, but at this time I am not uh, for it. Uh, it would not be fair. Thank you, sir. Um, may plans po ba to repatriate Filipinos from Wuhan considering na over 100 na po yung namatay and more than 6,000 na po yung infected nung novel coronavirus? At this Wuhan? From Wuhan, China, sir. Yes, uh, that's the place. But that, that place is really admittedly by all as uh, contaminated. And it is uh, locked down in the sense that no one there from that place can uh, go out. And the other. It is practically like a prison where you cannot move around or get out of the place. They are discouraging movement even in the place itself. Avoid contacts. Just let's avoid contamination. So, hindi po natin tatan, um, i ask yung Chinese authorities to um, i allow us na i repatriate yung Filipinos po. Well, we are uh, always conscious of our citizens their uh, health and uh, if they are going home we are ready to ferry them back to the philippines but all precautions must be in place uh, maybe the spraying of the entire plane from the landing gear up to the rooftop or whatever, I leave it to the proper authorities to do that. 
Uh, I said, but kung may mga sakit tayo na may may tama na at gusto nang umuwi, ang makaawa naman kung hindi natin tulungan, uh, I will not uh, argue that this should also be uh, inside a lockdown place. If we are given the good signal, may Well, my, my thinking is that uh, we'll have just have to go there and rescue them. I said, but all precautions must be uh, in place so as not to allow another contamination here. It's easy for a contamination to spread from people to people. Hindi pa nila alam kung ano tong yawa na ito Good evening, Mr. President. I am Jen from Manila Bulletin. Sir, uh, on your uh, U.S. trip, have you informed U.S. President Trump about your decision to decline the invitation to attend the summit? And who will represent you to the summit instead? I think by this time, our uh, foreign office uh, must have advised uh, China that I'm not going. And uh, they do not want... Uh, proxies there. That's what I've noticed when a head of state is absent. Uh, his, his chair uh, remains empty. Nobody sits there. So wala siguro. Wala akong ma-i-turo na proxy ko. Who will uh, act as proxy. Sir, may we know why you are skipping the summit in the U.S.? Uh, for uh, is strategic and geopolitical considerations. Sir, last question. Sir, on the planned U.S. Uh, termination of the VFA, sir, final na po ba ito? Or are you inclined to change your mind about terminating the VFA? I am terminating. I was not joking. The day I said it, Uh, was the day that I decided it should be terminated. Alam mo, sabi nila na it's my subject to my whim, yung kapricho. No. Uh, it started when they mentioned about uh, uh, the resolution in the U.S. Senate. Uh, they were trying to figure, try to figure out uh, who would be the persons who will be barred from entering. Noon pa lang, yung utak ko gumagalaw na. Ganun ako eh. Hindi naman ako naghihintay. I'm just, I just uh, announced late. Kaya pinapauna kong utak. Pero at that time, I have decided that if they do this, uh, Uh, and I will do it not only for De La Rosa, but for every Filipino. O lalo na yung mga taga-gobyerno na magpunta doon, uh, supposedly to attend a business concern officially. Yung hindi nila, I will limit siguro sa foreign affairs, but ah, uh, I will, I will not allow any cabinet member to go there at this time. No cabinet member should be allowed to go to the United States. Indefinitely. Indefinitely. So that uh, we limit our contact uh, in whatever aspect of international relations would, it, would be discussed or uh, subject of talks. So, sir, you mean you want to lessen relations with the U.S.? So, and I, I am slowly toning it down. And I said, uh, as a corollary of uh, De La Rosa's uh, 
well, uh, being um, uh, his cancel uh, his, his cancel visa uh, para sa akin lahat na lang lahat ng I don't, I don't know about the Senate and Congress they are not uh, uh, under my jurisdiction but yung mga senador uh, mga se uh, cabinet member ko I will ask them to not to go to the United States. In the meantime, parang boycott. Some clarifications to be okay because before when we talked to Secretary Panello and even Secretary Luxin, they said we have begun the process of terminating. But your statement now is terminated. But, you know, there is a a, a a procedure. When you say that uh, uh, I want this terminated, in, in that agreement or whatever it is, there's always rules to follow. The winding up, or if there are properties to, the re to return the properties used uh, during the, uh, well, uh, the life of the contract. Uh, until it was a uh, revoke. Ganun lang yan. Uh, I'm just toning it down. Thank you. Sir, thank you. Thank you so much. So, wala dyan sa Amerikano? Kanilan lahat lang yan? 